Welcome to Knack Tack 910. Graph points on the coordinate plane. In the previous lesson, we learned how to plot the x and y values individually on a coordinate plane. Today, we're going to learn how to plot points on the coordinate plane. Let's look at an example. Say we're looking at 3 and 2. As I said, we always need to start from the origin. But first, help me with these. If I say 3 units on x-axis, then it's this. If I say negative 4 units on x-axis, then it's this. Okay, if it's negative 1 unit on y-axis, it's this. Y-axis is five units, then it's this one. Correct. So if I say three and two, what does that mean? Any point is represented in the form X and Y. That means three units on the coordinate X and two units on the Y coordinate. Good. First, let's plot the X value on the plane. Since X value is three, we should move three units to the right along the x-axis starting from the origin. Now, starting from this point, y value is two. Let's move two units up starting from the three on the x-axis. Right, this is still three units away from x-axis and two units away from y-axis. This is fun. Can I try another one? Yeah, sure, try this one. Plot negative 4 and 5. Let's first plot the x value of negative 4 and 5 on the coordinate plane. x value is negative. We need to move left along the x-axis. And it's negative 4. So we need to move 4 units to the left along the x-axis starting from the origin. Now starting from this point, we need to plot the y value. Since y value is 5, we need to move 5 units up, starting from negative 4 on the x-axis. Math is easy and fun when you understand your concepts with a little bit of practice and loads of fun!